Hi, I'm Mitchell Strapinchik with Chicago Media Action, Chicago Indie Media, WLUW and WHPK Radio. The Alt Fox documentary, I think, serves as a very nice entree, not only into um, learning about um, Fox News and um, critical perspectives or positions on media, um, even though um, it's frankly a movie that's now pretty old. Um, but it serves as that neat entree, if you don't know anything about this, to learn about this and to discover more avenues. But also to, I guess, imbue upon its viewers the idea that, yes, you, as a supposed everyday person, can affect uh, the media and the policies that shape that media. And I've seen that time and again in the now near decade that I've been working on these media issues and policies myself. That, I think, is the biggest thing that can be taken away from that. And also the show is a kind of historical document. Um, what Fox has done and has been guilty of um, in this nice snapshot of a t time when it was clearly guilty of these things. It may well have to change in the wake of scandals that may affect it now or in the future. Um, or other policies that may force um, a, a shift in policy for Fox Fox News or its corporate parent news corporation or for um, any of these big media holdings. So, yeah, the movie is very much worth watching. It's only an hour long. Um, if you haven't seen it, I recommend it highly. Still. What is Fox News guilty of toward uh, the ethics of uh, journalism? Uh, a lot. Uh, Fox, has, <laughs> um, Fox has basically all but done away with the kind of... Um, Example journalism that people might affiliate with something like Watergate. There you had journalists who were working tirelessly day in and day out to try to establish context, to corroborate information, uh, to do a lot of scut work, uh, to get stories, to get information, and to get it out there uh, to the public. Um, that is a lot of people power and money that has to be involved with that, and also where that kind of um, resource tends to irk people in power who tend to have the money that winds up paying for um, these sources indirectly through advertising. So newspapers have tended to shirk away from journalism as a measure of cost cutting but also as a measure of avoiding um, that kind of um, antagonism of powerful interests. Fox News has uh, taken it a step further by basically all but abolishing um, that kind of investigative journalism. It's almost all talk on comments on talking points that are delivered from a relative small number of uh, uh, um, revered power brokers um, who wind up not to 100%, but to a great extent calling the shots as far as the overall contours of where that um, media policy ultimately is shaped and also what people talk about or tend to emphasize on a day-to-day -day basis. In the case of this hacking scandal that's emerged in recent months, um, Fox News has, uh, did report on it, but as studies have shown, of a far greater reduced amount than CNN or um, uh, MSNBC, their rivals in the cable news space in the United States, have done. And in the instance, instances when they actually did talk about it at any extended length, they tend to talk about it as a blanket problem of hacking in general. Yeah, there are these hackers, and there's been this hacking. But hacking is problematic, and you should watch out, and here's what you should do in the end. Or hacking is, um, or this is a problem that is endemic to all kinds of media, um, or that we can't be blamed because everyone else is doing it. You know, no, the examples are, damned few examples are actually cited. Um, but they try to dismiss the entire story outright. Um, not reducing it at all. So even in these instances, they try to um, gum up the works. Um, so it, its effect is clearly nefarious. 